1 Corinthians chapter 7, Paul is dealing with all kinds of crazy questions and concerns, well, about sex and about marriage. If I become a Christian, am I to leave my spouse if they're not a Christian and I'm married to them? Is sex good? Is it bad or is it evil? Should I not marry at all so I can focus on the Lord and not be distracted by well, my, my wife or my husband, by my kids, by my family. Paul even speaks of people who have the gift of singleness. All these issues are being dealt with in this 1 Corinthians chapter 7. And, and I just want to read a, a few verses from this chapter and encourage you to really read this chapter and let the Lord speak to you about all these issues with marriage, with sex, with singleness. Listen to what chapter 7, I begin with verse Three, It says, let the husband render to his wife the affection that's due her, and likewise also the wife to her husband. The wife doesn't have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. And it says, do not deprive one another except for consent for a time that you may give yourselves to fasting or prayer and come together again so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. Paul gets some pretty specific advice here about sex between husbands and wives. It's good biblical advice. And here's my advice to those of you who are married, those who are single, those who are dealing with all these type of issues. Read chapter 7 of 1 Corinthians. It's a powerful chapter that deals with a lot of issues in marriage and out of marriage. Ask the Lord to lead and guide. It's good biblical advice.